Hi everyone, Stuart from Riku here. GPT-4 has come out and it's very exciting. It works the same as ChatGPT. So we've been enhancing our dashboard so that you can use ChatGPT, GPT-4 and any future releases seamlessly. With Riku, we're all about making it easy for you to play with the latest artificial intelligence with or without code. So we've made it possible for you to quickly create prompts with GPT-4 or ChatGPT and then deploy these so you can share them with your colleagues, your friends, your contractors, whoever you need to use them or embed them where you want. So let's have a look at how all of this works within Riku for this MVP demonstration. And of course, we are going to be improving this and iterating on it in the future to make it better and better. Let's get into it. So if we come in to our dashboard on Riku, we now have chat apps where we had chatbots before. If you click on the, this, you'll be able to see your chat app prompts. And you'll be able to see here, I've got some with GPT-4 and I've got some with the GPT-3.5 Turbo, which is pretty much chat GPT. We are gonna be adding more templates for you to play with and you are going to be able to change anything that is here in the future. If you want to create a new one, simply click at the bottom and we have the ChatGPT Studio. This is where you can create brand new prompts for any of these chat models. And as more chat models come out, we're gonna be adding more of these to uh, the offering within Riku. So we have them here. If I click in, you'll see we have our save and publish chat app pop-up. Here you can change the name, you can change the description, you can add an image if you want to, or you can hit shuffle to choose between some images that we have sort of predefined. You'll be able to see an app link here and you'll be able to copy that to the clipboard. You'll be able to set an app password here. So for example, I will set this as testing for this video. I can hit set password. My password has been updated. So I can share this with people. And then if I want to change the password after sharing it, I can do that. And I can share it with other people if the password leaks or if I want to just limit who can see it, then it's very easy to do that. And what we also have is we have the ability to create an embeddable HTML. So you can change the button color you can change the icon color of the button and you can change the width um, sizing and the height sizing. So you'll see here, we could have a height of like 400 and then the width would be 100. And if we come in to the iframe source, you will see that it's updated. So we've got the 400 pixel height and the width as 100%. You can change between pixels and percentages. If you want to, one thing about obviously embedding is if you are embedding this somewhere, then anyone who has the link for that embed can use your chat GPT. And because we are running everything through your API keys to keep it as cheap as possible for you, if people get to it and they, you know, someone discovers it who shouldn't, then that can be a problem. So the way that you can solve that is only turn this on with embedding when you want. If this is toggled as off, then no one will be able to access it through an embeddable link. If it's turned on and if it's saved, then you're good to go. But we'll keep that off for now. What I'll do is I'll just copy this link. We've got our app password as testing and I can hit save and publish app. So now I know that this is ready to use and I can get to the app by either clicking the play button like this or just entering it into a new browser. So you'll see here, because I am the creator, it's not going to ask me for any credentials or anything. I can just come in and I could say, who has won the most darts world championships? And it's going to add that to our conversation. And it says Phil Taylor. So I can just test the memory, just to say, when is his birthday? Obviously I haven't wrote anything about Phil Taylor. So it's going to know the birthday of Phil Taylor. 
and that is good. So we can have this conversation with the chat GPT in our own dashboard. If we want to create something completely new, we can do that as well. Like I said, we hit chat GBT studio within the dashboard, or if we are on one of these uh, share links, these chat apps, then we can come in and create one ourselves here. So here is what we had before, but we've made a few improvements to it. So what we can do is we can change the, uh, the 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 welcome message so let's do something fun let's be a pirate so uh ahoy there me hearties <laughs> um, i'm here to help you with any questions and then we can have walk the plank we can choose between our models and one thing that is important at the moment is the GPT-4 is only gonna work if you are accepted into the beta. I know that quite a few people got the invites last night. So if you have got one of those invites, then GPT-4 will work for you. If you haven't got one of those just yet, you can use the GPT-3.5 Turbo. Um, and most of the GPT-4 invites that I've seen are for the 8,000 token model. So make sure that you are selecting the right one because selecting the wrong one and then saving a prompt will just get you errors. Um, because if you haven't got access, then it's not gonna magically work for you. So now we're gonna create a piratey prompt. So um, you are a pirate like Jack Sparrow. You talk in a funny accent and give humorous advice to questions about being at sea for a long time. A in character and ensure comedy is central to your answers. So this is the system message that we are sending through and we can then save this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Jack Sparrow advice and then we can give it a description and say, this prompt is all about making GPT-4 talk like Jack Sparrow and be funny with the answers to questions about being on a ship for a long time. But hopefully we're gonna get some good outputs here. So we can say create, and then you'll see a few things have happened. The welcome message at the top has changed to what we changed it to. The placeholder message, walk the plank, is now here. And if we want to test this, we can do that. We need to add a session at the top. And we could say, um, what do I need if I'm going to be on a pirate ship for a long time? And we can hit the send and it's going to give us an answer. And one thing that I really like about this is we can have multiple sessions open at the same time. So we can come in and we could say, uh, what is your favorite food? And we should get the outputs here. I think we are having an issue with this, like we always do with these live demonstrations. Oh, we've got the answer there. We've got the answer there. Great. It was just OpenAI playing up. So you see these answers. Ahoy, matey. If you be planning to set sail on a grand pirate adventure for a long time, that'd be a fine question. Arr, here be some essentials ye be needing. So you can have multiple conversations at once whilst you're testing and seeing how this works. Me favorite grub ye be asking. Tis the old mixture of hard tack, salted pork, and a wee bit of lime. So this is really awesome. And if I want to make this usable for other people, then I can just come in and I hit publish app. I can give it a profile image if I want to. I can change any of this information. And I could say, let's give it a password. Um, and we'll call this Black Pearl. 
Let's say the password is black pearl. And we can then save this. And then if I wanted to give this to anyone, so I've logged out, I've actually copied what I wanted to copy and I can load up the Jack Sparrow advice. So this is just showing you how you can use it if you are not the logged in user. So if I come in and I want to write something, so I say, what is your favorite food? I'll hit send. It's going to ask me for the password because I don't have it. Let me just put Black Pearl. And you'll see it's incorrect because I didn't have the capitals for it. So if I put Black Pearl in again, it's now unlocked and I can send my message. And it's going to reply to me when it does. I've noticed that GPT-4 is slightly slower than the GPT-3.5 Turbo. I expect this to... Uh, get better in the future, but you see here we can have a conversation uh, and It can be quite fun so we could say you know monkey tail that sounds gross <laughs> But uh, yeah, so this is where we are at the moment with what we are doing with uh, the chat dashboard. So we have a way for you to create your chat prompts with 3.5 and with 4. When more models become available, we will be adding them. And we are also creating a way for you to embed them, which you can use now. Um, and we will have a way so you can toggle your own sessions here. So you can have sessions which will be, uh, they'll be ready for the user based on their uh, loaded page. So obviously we want to reduce the friction as much as possible for anyone to use this with a password. We don't want them to have to be able to, we don't want them to be making an account and going through the process with all of that friction. We want it to be simple, we want it to be quick, and we want it to be fast. So all of this is about that. So we will have sessions which are unique for the to the page, and when the page is refreshed, the sessions will be wiped. Um, but I think this offers a lot of potential for you to share your GPT-4 or GPT-3.5 chat GPT prompts with other people for them to use. And we have white label also in the works. So this is a first version of what we have. Um, please enjoy it. Please uh, give us any feedback. We'd love to hear it. Cool. So that's everything for today. I hope you've enjoyed this brief demonstration of our MVP version of these share links, chat apps, whatever you want to call them. I hope you find them useful and you can share them with your team with your organization, with contractors, friends, whatever. We plan to have a really nice dashboard with the best uh, chat GPT sort of little apps that people can play with, enjoy. Uh, it's gonna be like the community showcase. It's gonna be growing, it's gonna be big, it's gonna be fun. And we think it's gonna be really exciting when we start to chain this technology together with other things within AI. So feeding these chat prompts into image, feeding summaries into these uh, chat prompts and so on and so on. We've got a lot coming and it's quite hard to keep up with the latest stuff in AI sometimes, but we try our best to keep on top of it all. And we are determined to keep Riku ahead of the game and to be the central place for you to build with all of the best large language models, really agnostic to the technology um, the companies that are running it, and to make it simple for you to do that with code or without code. So if that sounds interesting for you and you haven't considered signing up for Riku, try it out today at riku.ai. We'd love to have you on board. Thank you.